like to introduce myself. My name is uh, Usama Mansour. Um, I'm an assistant professor at the University of Hyle in Health Management Department. I'm also a board member of uh, uh, the Saudi Society for Health Administration. Uh, also, I am a, a member of the Scientific Society of uh, Health Information Management. I also work with the Saudi Commission for Healthcare uh, Professional. Uh, well, um, uh, as uh, as I work in um, academia, uh, most of my research related to the health labor force, uh, career uh, development, uh, uh, and equity. Um, uh, and uh, today um, I would like to speak uh, about the migration and mobility of healthcare workers. Uh, I have published uh, uh, a study with uh, colleagues um, about a few months ago in uh, human uh, resources uh, uh, management for health journal. Uh, I can share you. Uh, uh, the whole study, if you are interested in that. Uh, well, my study uh, focused on the pull factors that uh, attract, uh, so uh, like healthcare workers uh, to work in Saudi Arabia. But first, uh, to look at the uh, topic globally, uh, countries. Uh, have become more engaged in, in recruiting uh, migrant healthcare workers. And all uh, developed countries uh, trying to mitigate uh, the issue of shortage in, in some uh, specialty. Uh, and this is not new. Uh, uh, people migrate to, uh, like to for different reasons, like in hundreds of years ago, people go like to find uh, water, food. So it's uh, not- Dr. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Do you see the slide while you are talking? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Thanks. And you will uh, then uh, alert me to move it, right? Yeah, yeah. I will let you know. Yes. Excellent. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And about 50 years ago, the World Health Organization uh, called for an investigation to causes of healthcare migrants and a plan to resolve the problem caused by it. Um, this uh, this uh, was uh, about uh, 50 years ago, and there was different studies that try to uh, encourage countries to rely on their uh, uh, healthcare workers. And uh, this is good. Uh, I know it's not an easy, uh, you know, solution or uh, to come. You can do it in the next day, but it would take time. Um, and the, the investigation found that the main reasons for healthcare were uh, migration were social and economic problems with healthcare workers as uh, a system in many countries, such as poor planning of healthcare workforce, low job satisfaction, political and economic uh, instabilities, uh, discrimination and corruption in some of these countries. Uh, this is, uh, was done by the uh, World Health Organization. Uh, I know uh, Professor James Boshan, uh, who is working now in uh, Australia. He's, uh, he has done uh, several studies uh, related to uh, health labor force migration. If you can move to the next slide, Prof. Alam. Okay, uh, migrant um, healthcare workers come from many different places, uh, contribute significantly to health system workforce where shortage exists. Um, um, uh, like looking at global physician mobility, the main donor countries of physician to the world include India, Pakistan, China, Germany, Romania, and Russia. Uh, and Russia, the United Kingdom, Poland, uh, Iran, 
Italy and the, the Philippines. These are about uh, donor countries, so like the source country of healthcare, uh, sorry, of a physician. Regarding nurses, the Philippines, the Philippines is the largest donor of nurses, followed by India and Nigeria. There are other uh, major exporter of healthcare workers, uh, such as uh, Mexico, Malaysia, Colombia, Egypt, and Pakistan. Uh, if you can move to the next slide. Yeah, I'm doing that. Next slide. Yeah. Uh, the, thing, the importance are mainly, sorry. Okay. Uh, you know the, uh, like uh, the importer are mainly high income countries such as the New Zealand, uh, the United States, uh, the UK, Canada, and Australia. These are the, you know, the destination countries for health, the main destination country for healthcare workers. Uh, the, the World Health Organization adopted uh, a global code of practice on the international recruitment of health personnel in 2010 uh, to, strength the, uh, uh, to strengthen the understanding of ethical management of international health personnel recruitment through improved data, information, and international cooperation. The code recommend that countries strive for self-sufficiency in their healthcare workers by training and retaining enough healthcare workers to meet the demand. The code noted if the recruitment is appropriately managed, the international migration of healthcare uh, uh, workers can contribute to developing and strengthening healthcare health system without draining resources. Uh, there are, you know, there are uh, the migration of uh, healthcare workers, you know, it has, uh, has uh, an impact on, uh, you know, the source country, also in the destination country, and for individual and themselves, you know, and they're trying to make balance, uh, you know, they encourage the, you know, the uh, developed countries to uh, to get sustainability within their resources, uh, not to, uh, to rely on uh, international migration. But uh, still, you know, uh, uh, even the individuals in these countries, they, sometimes they have uh, the choice, they have a choice to work uh, uh, if they have see, if they see opportunities in other countries, it would be uh, it shouldn't be a problem for themselves. You know, they're, even if they migrate, they will have some uh, challenges in their uh, countries, maybe culture, uh, culture issue or, you know, loneliness. Uh, um, uh, and even the source country thought that they may have, uh, they are affected by the shortage of this stuff. They can also get benefits of the resources that will be sent by their uh, people uh, from their, from their uh, received countries. And if you go to the next slide, uh, Prof. Uh, there are different uh, forces that uh, may, uh, influence individual to move from one place and uh, another. They have, uh, they call it, uh, uh, push and pull factors. So push factors from the donor countries and um, pull countries that uh, for the destination countries. Uh, the forces are, uh, uh, as I said, like social, economic, legal, historical, cultural, and educational. Um, individual assess these factors uh, to find safer pl place to live, a better quality of life uh, and leisure, uh, employment and professional development opportunities for themselves and their families. 
Uh, my study was related to the Saudi Arabia. So Saudi Arabia is considered one of the primary receipt countries of healthcare worker uh, of healthcare workers migration, importing staff from multiple countries. Uh, if you go to the next slide, Prof. Yeah, so in Saudi Arabia, doctors migrate from country, uh, different countries that enjoy peaceful and cooperative relationship with Saudi Arabia, but mainly come from Egypt, Jordan, Sudan, India, and Pakistan. Nurses mainly come from the Philippines and India. Uh, next slide, Prof. What I look uh, in my study also is to look for the you know, uh, the pull factors uh, of working in Saudi Arabia. Uh, we uh, found five factors that influence uh, the mobility of healthcare workers to Saudi. It's the reward, the competitive uh, reward package in Saudi Arabia was the primary pull factors to, for migrant nurses and doctors. Uh, also, job entry requirements. Uh, the simplicity of landing a job in Saudi compared to other uh, countries, especially in the uh, especially Western countries. Oh, another factor is religion. <clears throat> you know, Mecca and Medina is the uh, you know uh, where's the Kaaba and the noble prophet mosque are in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. So uh, people. Our healthcare workers can, you know, there will be a better access to the religious uh, practices and ceremonies, so they can perform Umrah and Hajj. And I think uh, uh, you know about these practices. Uh, recommendation of family and friends. You know, people are uh, get influenced from their, uh, you know, friends and families. So. Why don't you come to this place? Uh, I have already been there. I'm enjoying my life there. So this is also another pull factor. Uh, changing the work environment. Sometimes people want to change, uh, want to change their work environment. They had, you know, they, they probably they want to take a new experience. They want to take a new adventure. So this is also another uh, factor. People for the. Maybe they stay for a long time in the same place, so they wanted to change. So these are the five factors that we found uh, in our studies that uh, uh, pull uh, nurses and doctors uh, to work in Saudi Arabia. Next slide, Prof. Yes, uh, as mentioned in the global code of the practice on international recruitment and health personnel, the health of all people is essential to achieve peace and security and is dependent upon the fullest cooperation of individual and states. Uh, the positive impacts of migration and mobility on individuals such as an improved financial situation and uh, acquisition of experience in a new working environment should be uh, considered when making, uh, you know, uh, policies or uh, procedure related uh, to the mobility of health care workers. That's it, uh, Prof. Alam, and thank you all for listening, and would be happy to answer any uh, question related uh, to my presentation. Thank you so much.